So we are back home from the vet now and Rex had his tube out. I met with Dr. Santon and he said that Rex can now go down to prednisone once a day and I'm going to start weaning him off of his pain medicine because the doctor seems to think that he's not in as much pain. The doctor also thought Rex didn't gain any weight, but uh, he definitely has gained at least a pound, which is really good, even if uh, they're not acknowledging it, I will. But yeah, he's doing well. He's just poking around his litter box right now. He's got this super cute, oh my. Well, I guess we're napping in our litter box, but sometimes that happens when we're little, when we're on drugs. He had to get a little injection for sedation for pulling out the tube so that he uh, wasn't you know, like in severe pain and struggling and whatnot, but we're going to cut down the prednisone in half, which is fantastic. Wean him off of the buprenorphine and see how his pain levels are. And then also start to lower the anxiety medication starting today. So I'm really excited about that and uh, hoping to just have him on one medication in two weeks. The doctor wants me to give a call in a week and we'll see how things are going and what he thinks then. And uh, but it looks like things are looking up and we don't have a feeding tube anymore, which is just such incredible progress. You know, I was at the vet and I was reflecting on how much money I've spent on Rex and I just, you know, and Kit and he's been the more expensive of the two, but it's only money and you can't take it with you in the end. And these are two kitties that can make full recoveries. And that's really important to remember, you know, it just takes some medical intervention. And unfortunately, the, the world of medicine, both in, you know, human and veterinary medicine is ridiculously expensive. Uh, so we're just gonna try to figure out a strategic plan to pay off these vet bills. We maxed out our care credit today, so we've hit over $15,000 and um, I'm probably gonna have to work three jobs <laughs> uh, around medication schedules, <laughs> but that's okay. Cause I'm a hard worker and it's important to remember, you know, what matters most, which is the people and the animals that we love and our quality of life. And these guys have the chance at having a phenomenal quality of life. Even if Rex's triaditis is going to be long-term, the doctor said at this point he doesn't even know. So it might not even be triaditis, which is awesome. If it was just pancreatitis and it never happens again, then that's fabulous. But, uh, you know, we're, we're not sure. But we do know he has inflammation in his uh, liver and his pancreas and his GI system. So I'm going to keep the medication on deck and uh, we're going to do the best we can. But it's very exciting to not have to wake up at four in the morning to medicate a kitty to keep him from pulling out his feeding tube, which he needs. <laughs> so, so excited for him. And me, but mostly for him. <laughs> I will keep you all posted. And uh, today I will start applying for jobs as soon as I call the cat insurance company and uh, try to finagle some things, which likely won't work, but um, it's worth a shot, right? <laughs> Bye for now.